Hi guys, I'm back again. I hope you are doing well. First of all, thank you for watching. In today's video, I will explain the types of hackers. So, let's start. Hackers are computer experts who use advanced programming skills to bypass security protocols and gain access to devices or networks. However, not all hacking is unauthorized or malicious. There are different types of hackers. Some of them use their skills for a beneficial purpose. Understanding these distinctions can help you appreciate how some hacking can be helpful. Hackers can be categorized into three general types. Black hat hackers, white hat hackers, and gray hat hackers. While hackers are often associated with exploiting vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to computer system or networks, not all hacking is malicious or illegal. At its core, hacking involves using computer skills to solve specific problems. Many hacking activities are beneficial as they uncover programming weaknesses that help developers improve software products. Now, let's talk about black hat hackers. They are cyber criminals who infiltrate computer networks with malicious intent. They may deploy malware to destroy files, hold computer hostage, or steal sensitive information like passwords and credit card numbers. Motivated by financial gain, revenge, or ideological reasons, black hats aim to cause harm or profit from their actions. Black hat hackers often begin as script kids using pre-made hacking tools. Some receive training from criminal bosses eager for quick profits. The most skilled black hats work for sophisticated criminal organizations, which provide collaboration tools and service agreements, mimicking legal business practice. Black hat malware kits sold on the dark web may even include warnings and customer service. Now, how do they work? They often specialize in areas such as phishing or mining remote access tools. They find jobs through dark web forms and connections. Some develop and sell malicious software, while others work through franchises or leasing agreements. Hacking operates like big business, with partners, resellers, and vendors buying and selling malware licenses. Black hat organizations sometimes have call centers to scam victims by pretending to represent well-known tech companies. They convince victims to grant remote access or download software, enabling the theft of passwords and banking information. Other attacks are automated, with attacks put searching the internet for vulnerable computers to infiltrate through phishing, malware attachments, or compromised websites. White hat hackers, also known as ethical hackers or good hackers, are the counterparts to black hats. They exploit computer systems or networks to identify security flaws and recommend improvements. White hat hackers use their skills to uncover security failings and help protect organizations from malicious hackers. They may be paid employees or contractors working as security specialists to find and fix security gaps. Their efforts help large organizations experience less downtime and less issues with their websites, making it harder for malicious hackers to penetrate their systems. A specialized subset of white hat hackers include penetration testers who focus on finding vulnerabilities and assessing risk within the organization. White hat hackers use the same methods as black hats, but with the system owner's permission, making their activities legal. They work with network operators to fix issues before others can exploit them. Now, let's talk about their tactics and skills. White hat hackers use social engineering to discover weaknesses in an organizational human defenses. This involves tracking and manipulating individuals into actions like sharing login credentials or making weird transfers. 
Penetration testing aims to uncover vulnerabilities and weaknesses in an organization's defenses and endpoints so they can be addressed. Reconnaissance and research. This involves researching the organization to identify vulnerabilities with the physical and IT infrastructure, allowing hackers to legally bypass security controls without causing damage. And finally, programming. White Hat hackers create honey boots as decoys to lure cyber criminals, distracting them or gaining valuable information about the attackers. For some white hat hackers, the process is gamified through bug bounty programs which offer cash prize for reporting vulnerabilities. There are also training courses, events, and certification detected to ethical hacking. Motivation is the primary difference between black hat hackers and white hat hackers. Black hat hackers access system illegally, driven by malicious intent and personal gain. In contrast, white hat hackers work with companies to identify and fix system weaknesses. Their goal is to prevent black hat hackers from illegally accessing the system data. Gray hat hackers operate between the ethical boundaries of white hat and black hat hackers engaging in both unauthorized and authorized activities. They often search for vulnerabilities in systems without the owner permission or knowledge. If they find issue, they may report them and sometimes request a fee for fixing the problem. Some gray hat hackers believe they are benefiting companies by exposing security flaws without permission. However, business owners typically don't appreciate this unauthorized intrusion into their information infrastructure. Often, gray hat hackers seek to showcase their skills and gain publicity, viewing their actions as contribution to cybersecurity. Gray hat hackers may sometimes breach laws or ethical standards, but unlike black hat hackers, they don't have malicious intent. Unlike white hat hackers who exploit vulnerabilities with permission and keep their finding confidential and resolved, gray hat hackers don't seek permission before exploiting vulnerabilities but don't exploit them maliciously either. When gray hat hackers gain unauthorized access to system, they might offer to fix the problem for a fee. However, this practice has declined as business increasingly prosecute unauthorized intrusions. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more. And if you have any question, comment down below. Thank you.